What if I told you the best way to increase your click-through rate was to decrease it? Keep watching to find out why. Hello beautiful souls, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brielle, I am a brand strategist where I help young entrepreneurs turn their passions into profitable businesses. Make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already and make sure you hit the bell so you never miss a video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all about what a click-through rate is, how to increase it, and why you need to decrease it. Trust me, it'll make sense in a second. First, let's answer the question, what is a click-through rate? A click-through rate is how often people click to watch your video after they saw your video on their screen. Essentially, it is the number of clicks divided by the number of impressions. Impressions can show up in areas such as browse, suggested, or on channel pages. Let me show you an example with one of my highest performing videos. So as you can see, this screenshot was taken on July 6 of my analytics. I have about an 8% click-through rate with 100 views and about 125 impressions, as you can see. Then from the same video, I took a screenshot on July 9th. You see I have a 5.7% click-through rate with then 193 impressions and now having 104 views. So as you can see here, my click-through rate actually went down but my reach went up. Same screenshot was taken a day later and I now have a 5.6% click-through rate, still with 104 views, but now I have 196 impressions. So here's the big question. What is a good click-through rate? Now I know everyone wants to know the answer, but it's not an exact science. There is not an exact number. However, YouTube has stated that about 50% of channels have a click-through rate around two to 10%. Click-through rates can depend on multiple factors. So it's not exactly easy to figure out the exact click-through rate people should have on their channels. So then what factors play in to a click-through rate? The main factors that you will see for your click-through rate are your tags, titles, and thumbnails. If you'd like to learn more on how to make better thumbnails to get more views, make sure you watch the video above. So then why am I talking about having a low click-through rate? You may be dealing with one of two scenarios. Scenario number one is that you're not having people interested in clicking on your video. Or scenario number two, you are getting higher amount of views, you're getting a higher level of exposure, therefore a lower click-through rate. Let's focus on scenario number two for a moment. You want to gain more views on your videos because besides having, well, more views on your videos, your videos are then be shown to a wider audience. So therefore, having a low click-through rate really isn't a bad thing. The more chances that you are being given to push out your videos outside of your subscriber base, the more variation you will have in response to if they want to click on your video, aka a low click-through rate. So if you can possibly get a low click-through rate, why is it even important? Let's say your channel is monetized and you put out a video that is not exactly user-friendly for YouTube's community guidelines. YouTube could then not push out your videos to a wider audience, which means less views and a lower click-through rate in a bad way. It could also mean a loss of ad revenue or no ad revenue at all, and an overall loss of views in comparison to your other videos. This hurts your growth and it hurts YouTube pushing you out further. While that example was mainly focused on monetization, it's important because your click-through rate in that scenario would have gotten way lower in a bad way, not like how I'm talking about in this video. That is why click-through rates matter and it's something that you need to pay attention to. So now that you understand this scenario and how click-through rates work, Let's go back to scenario number one for a second. In scenario number one, people might not be clicking on your videos because they're not interested in your videos. So how can we fix that? My first tip to you is to start with your thumbnails. They are the first thing people see before clicking on your videos. So if you want to change up your strategy to see if you will get a higher click-through rate, I would suggest then posting a new thumbnail within 48 to 72 hours after your video. The reason that I'm talking about doing it in between that time frame is because YouTube really pays attention to how your video performs within the first 24 hours. So you really want to give it that time to really see how it's doing and get a better sense of the video before you change anything up. 
If you are curious to know what mistakes you might be making with your thumbnails, make sure you watch the video above. One thing to keep in mind is to watch your analytics. YouTube pushes out your videos first to your subscriber base. And if that video really picks up, YouTube starts pushing it outside of your own audience. And if it's getting really good traction outside of your own audience and is getting picked up a lot, you really need to pay attention to that. Figure out what you might need to improve if your video is getting picked up really far outside of your own audience. Because for example, within your own thumbnails, your style of thumbnails or even your face in the thumbnails may not work for someone outside of your subscriber base. It may mean that you need to change up your thumbnail in order for it to perform better outside of your subscriber base and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's say my channel covered old cartoons such as Rugrats. In this fake thumbnail, it's about the Rugrats reboot. And so on my channel, my subscribers would know my face. And so this would be an interesting thumbnail. However, it would perform better to a wider audience just to show the Rugrats and just to show the title in that thumbnail. Those that don't know my channel and are visiting for the first time would be more enticed to click on this thumbnail because it just has the Rugrats in it. Another way to work on increasing your click-through rate is to change your titles. You need to pay attention to three key factors. Is your title captivating? Is there a reason that it draws you in? Because a lot of videos on YouTube get made over and over again but there's a reason that you clicked on that video. Next is your title searchable. Is it something that when someone search how to do it or a topic of that sort, will it pop up in search? Finally, is your video going to provide value? Because when somebody reads that title, they want to know they're going to get something out of it. For example, if somebody showed a video on their weight loss journey with healthy eating, if that was somehow incorporated within the title, they know what they're getting out of watching that video. You want to pay attention to the two most important things, and that is your titles and your thumbnails. Those are vital to pay attention to how they perform. So then going back to the statement that I made at the beginning of this video, what if I told you the best way to increase your click-through rate was to decrease it? Why am I sharing about increasing your CTR if I was talking about why it's important to decrease it? Let me put it this way. If you first learn how to improve and increase your CTR, then YouTube will then push out your video to a wider audience, which like I mentioned earlier in this video, is actually a good thing you are reaching more and more people. That is more and more opportunities for somebody to click on your video and subscribe to you later on. So what areas do you need to work on with your CTR? Make sure to comment them below. That is all for today. If you got value out of this video, make sure to hit the like button as that supports my channel and I know you enjoyed the video. Also make sure you subscribe to see more videos. Increase your click-through rate, what? Blah, blah, blah. First mess up. To people outside of your subscribe. Those outside of your subscriber va base, outside of your subscriber base, we all have a subscriber base. To push out your videos outside of your subscriber base, base, keep saying base. To push out your videos outside of your subscriber base, I just want to say I finally got that. It took me like I think two minutes probably. No ad revenue is to watch your analytics, really, your titles. You need to focus on key.